So what's interesting is that she is, uh, she is also like within Muslim circles and among her supporters, she's thought of as a, a progressive kind of feminist, even though she. Yeah, yeah, no, the, 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 there's kind of a reason for that actually. Uh -huh. um, what Hashmi does is very clever because Pakistani women don't really have much autonomy and control over their lives. But what Dr. Farah Hashmi says to them is that through using um, their own common sense and judgment, they're able to select the version or the interpretation of Islam that they agree with. And so she she sort of gives them control and that is seen as um, empower, it's actually empowering. I've seen women, I found it so empowering, but where they're starting from is so bad mm. in terms of how much control they have. He, what she seems to be giving them is a sort of choice in how they should practice Islam, that your, your dad or your husband can't tell you how to practice Islam. That's between you and God. And here are the texts and you can make your own decisions. And that's seen as somehow progressive or feminist. Okay. She says that they can, they're allowed to recite the Quran or touch it during uh, their periods. The menses, yes. Uh, she says that they can't, uh, they, they should be able to lead their own prayers. So, so the, it's kind of interesting because she's, Putting on this sort of uh, there, there's a uh, a facade of empowerment, but it's, mm -hmm. it's 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 an illusion in a way. Yeah, essentially, you know, essentially, essentially, when you get down to it, it's conservative. In Pakistan, it was like we're not going to tell you to pray, we're not going to tell you to cover your face, but when you study it, when you come across the verse, <laughs> then or make that decision yourself. For me, as somebody, because I had such a repressive background, I find that I found that empowering. Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries advocating for atheists, secularists, and Enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.